restoration. God doubled it. I prophesy to you. Le pronose toli bakataya. Le true gasiliaba. For all your troubles, enter into double honor. Enter into double honor. Enter into your double honor. Enter into your double honor. Laughter becomes a daily attitude. Laughter becomes permanent habit in your life. In the name of Jesus. Your laughter will never be taken away again. In the name of Jesus. When God turned around the captivity of the Israelites in the land of Assyria, where a man, the Agagai, terrorized and wanted to destroy them. Laughter, annual laughter. Laughter became annual celebration because God. God turned the table against their enemies and God gave the Jews upper hands over their enemies. In Esther chapter 9, Esther chapter 10, they instituted a celebration, annual celebration of laughter. Every year up until now, Israelites gather to celebrate the feast of Purim. Purim means sorrow to joy. Purim means from poor to Purim. Purim means a season of celebration, a season of laughter, a season of joy. And it became a transgenerational practice amongst the Jews because there was one day when God took away weeping and tears and God gave them laughter and they've never stopped to celebrate laughter. Therefore, I stand on the authority of the word of the Lord as from today, laughter becomes a transgenerational miracle in your family in the name of Jesus. You will laugh for joy. You will laugh for beauty. You will laugh for breakthrough. You will laugh because of your God. You will laugh for good news. Laughter will become the inheritance. Laughter will become the heritage of your family. Annual celebration of laughter in this church, in your home, in your life. In the name of Jesus. While you are still standing, let me close by reading Esther 8, 15 to 17. Esther 8, 15 to 17. And we're going to read it together very quickly. Message translation. Kindly bring it up. Message translation. And I fasting the breakthrough in that passage over the lives of everyone listening to me. Are we there? Esther 8, 15 to 17. Message translation. One, two, go. Mordecai word out of the king's presence, wearing a royal robe of violet and white, a huge gold crown, and a purple cape of fine linen, the city of Susa exploded with joy. For Jews, it was all sunshine and laughter. They celebrated. They were honored. It was that way all over the country. In every province, every city, when the king's bulletin was posted, the Jews took to the streets in celebration, cheering and feasting. Not only that, but many non-Jews became Jews. Now, it was dangerous not to be a Jew. Masuta libre niketoya. Ibra kasandele boko shata. I stand on this altar and I issue out this prophecy. Write it down if you may. Very soon and very soon, all over the world, globally, it will be dangerous not to be a born-again Christian. A born-again Christian is a spiritual Jew. It's a seed of the Jew. Hear that word. It was not just for that time alone. It is for the now and for the future. I repeat it very soon and very soon. It will be too dangerous for anyone not to be a born-again Christian. Because the time is going to come to the world, brethren, weeping, tears, sorrow, gnashing of the, of, the, of the teeth will be the order of the day. The only people that will be laughing, that will be laughing, that will be rejoicing, that people will be wondering, what is causing? Where do you get the joy from? Everyone is sad. Everyone is lamenting. Everyone is sorrowing. Cost of living. Wars. Famine. All over. Where did you get your own joy and laughter from? That season, that time is going to come. And then it will be too dangerous for anyone not to be a believer and a born again Christian. Lift up your hands. Give thanks to the Lord. The God who has ordained laughter for you. Laughter of joy. Laughter of breakthrough. Thank you Father. In Jesus name we have prayed. Before we take our seats please. 
if you are here today, you've not given your life to Jesus, this thing will just sound like noise to your ears. But somehow God has allowed you to hear it and he brought you here for a purpose. And that purpose is because he wants you to join the family of those who will begin to laugh for joy and will never weep for sorrow again. Even when afflictions come, when troubles come, God will not allow them to be sorrowful because he said, weeping may endure for a night in the morning come at joy. Jesus Christ is able to help you live in the morning time all the days of your life when there is no weeping. When, that doesn't mean that we will have occasional, we will not have occasional afflictions. Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. And because of that trust, that faith, that belief that I will be delivered, that will make you to even rejoice why you are in that affliction. But if you have not given your life to Jesus, I would never have been able to boldly say to my wife, it will end this year if I did not have the assurance of Jesus Christ, who had by then become my Lord and my Savior. If you are saying, Pastor Leke, pray for me. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Or Pastor Leke, pray for me. I want to be serious with my Christian walk. I've not been serious. Things have not been right between me and God. I want you to know that God's arms are stretched out right now to embrace you. You may also be online and there is a number that you can test the word safe to online. But if you are here in the auditorium and I can see you, if you just raise up your right hand wherever you are, I'm going to pray for you there. You are saying, Pastor Leke, pray for me or pray with me. I want to give my life to Jesus today or I want to rededicate my life to Christ. I want you to know that he's here, ready to receive you. Say, behold, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. If you hear me and open, I will come in. Not just me, my father and I, and we will die with you. Do you want to have that royal lunch and dinner with Christ? Raise up your hand wherever you are. If I'm able to see you, you are giving your life to Jesus. God bless you. Jesus Christ said there will be dancing, laughter, rejoicing again in heaven. If one soul, just one, should return to the Father. What a mighty God. Even if you are the only one in this world, Jesus Christ will still have died for you. That's how precious your soul is. Yes, do we have other people? that I'm able to see anywhere, but God can see you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. Father, we want to thank you. You are the Savior, the only one that can save. God bless you as you come forward. God bless you. You are saying, Satan, get thee behind me. I am for Jesus. Get thee behind me. I am for Jesus. If you receive a card, come boldly. Come boldly. The day I took that step was the day of my own turnaround. My turnaround began. The day I took that step, your turnaround has begun today. Come, God bless you, son. God bless you. Anyone else? God bless you. God bless you. If you know that only Jesus can save, just clap your hands one more time for Jesus. Clap your hands one more time for Jesus. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I want to thank you. Thank you because only you can save. Thank you because you have revealed yourself to your daughter. I pray, oh God Almighty, that you save our soul. Everyone that may still be, or may also be online, that is taking this decision, Father, by your divine intervention, make it a quality decision for them. Let your precious blood wash and cleanse them. I pray, Lord, that you adopt them into your family from today. Lord, I ask specifically for the miracle that is called laughter without season. Please give them that miracle as a token, as a sign that indeed something brand new has happened to them. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Please complete the card. See the counselor and know that it is done. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm going to ask you to do something in a minute as I close. We've been praying since Thursday. So I'm not going to take you into another long session of prayer because we have a few more things to do before the end of the service. But you are going to do just one prophetic praying, one prophetic thing before I step down in just two minutes. Listen to this so that it will encourage you. As I was preparing this message, as if God wanted to confirm that this is the message for the people of God in this hour. I went, my phone, my eyes went into a publication. Church Times is an online Christian newspaper. 
And I began to 